Okay, let's talk to Meta in Pennsylvania. My Meta, Meta four. Meta four. Hello. Oh damn, Meta four. Okay, hi, Meta four. <laughs> Hello. How are you? We are doing oh. good. How are you? How can we help oh. you today? Ah, you know, sometimes I sit and I just wonder, what is this? And what do you call the world? Metaphor? I don't know so if I, we have time for that. <laughs> so, so, so this was this was my lead, and I apologize. Uh -huh. I wanted to have a discussion about deepities. Okay. Um, because Ooh. I think what, sometimes well, they're dismissed. Uh, I guess the, in the, the nut in a nutshell, where does a deepity begin or end, and a poem begin or a metaphor? So, I mean, <laughs> I looked at where they came from, and then it. We're yeah. talking to them mm -hmm. talking about let's, their theology. Let's specifically identify what a deepity is for people who are following because they might not know oh, what a, sure. a deepity is. A deepity was, uh, is a term coined by Daniel Dennett uh, when he was talking about uh, different sayings and phrases that sound very, very, oh, what's the word? Love finds a way. Love is just a word. Or, or it's not the size of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that actually has... A, anyway, um, but, uh, but he, he called them deepities because it, it, it seems very, very profound is the word I was looking for. Um, but when you zoom in, actually doesn't mean anything. And so it, it causes people to kind of look at this, this string of nonsense and go, oh, if you, if you look hard enough... Oh, there's there's just so much to. Oh my gosh, it's so deep. No, no, it's not. It's word salad. And if you want to see some just beautiful deepities, uh, check out Deepak Chopra uh, or Jordan Peterson or Jordan Peterson. So here's the deal, metaphor. I think that a lot of poetry and a lot of metaphor can also be classified as deepities. I guess the concern that I think Dennett had with them and that I would share is the concern where you are giving us a deepity and nothing else, right? It's not a poem where the author had an intent and is saying something in a flowery way that maybe can be misconstrued or, you know, uh, you know, uh, interpreted in multiple ways. Um, it's just, oh, I don't want to actually answer this question, so I'm going to throw something at you that sounds profound so you stop asking. That's the difference. So it's not necessarily that it bo they both sound flowery, because they do. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to, you know, smoke and mirrors you so <laughs> you don't notice that I don't actually have an answer. Does that make sense? Um, I hear what you're saying. So I, I, in a nutshell, it sounds like you're saying you're, they're kind of using it as a rhetorical weapon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. it, kind of, it kind of shuts down the conversation. Well, because, because obviously you haven't thought about it enough. If you, if you don't get it, it's because you haven't thought about it enough. Um, it, it's, it's used so often in so many different ways, and that's just another way that it's used. My favorite, and the one that I think struck me on that, was truth. Because as a Christian, you say, I know what truth is. It's given by God. And when you say, okay, well, what is truth? They say it's the evidence of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. And well, I, I, the, hold on. What do you think about no. this one? No, 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 sorry. It's, it's evidence of things not seen. It's, it's the, not seen, yeah. no, it's, it's, can you, can, can you, I, my brain just I, slipped it. Yeah, my brain's not, not getting it either. Um, we were never true Christians. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I, live track, better than code. <laughs> I like the, uh, the, the thing concept loves, of, it is infinite. yeah, you I like the concept. Go ahead. Yeah, so um, I'm sorry. So if a thing loves, it's infinite. I mean, we can agree upon that. It is infinite. Uh, th so, what I mean, the hell like does that mean? No, metaphor. Well, what right. the hell? If something is loved, it's right. infinite? What the f Let infinite me... what? No. What, right, right. In, what, so that's in, a poem by William Blake. Okay. A highly regarded like line from a poem. I'm sorry. So no, that's okay. I thought you were making that as a statement. I was well, like... Well, I mean, yeah, so... But, I mean, perhaps the person who is using the deepity... Perhaps they really haven't formed the idea well, what they want to, you know, and they're, you know, and, and, you know, a lot of times in conversations, it's very pointed. We're looking for, what do you mean? What do you mean? I want to know what the truth is on that. But, ah, you know, I guess like what you were saying in the previous call about, um, you know, there being, I, I don't know how else to put it, but people who, you know, there's such a variety of people of faith. So somewhere it's very compatible with, someone who's an atheist and we could go out and talk about stuff and even agree upon a lot of stuff even though 
if the thing loves, it's infinite. Anyway, well, never mind. Um, so, <laughs> well, um, thank you for. Yeah, we're going to have to move on, Metaphor. We've got like maybe seven, eight minutes left, and we want to make sure we get sure. through the last calls. But um, that was actually a really interesting differentiation, I think, is useful. So thank you for calling in. Yeah, no worries. Nice talking to you. You too. Bye. All right. Okay, um, who are we talking to next? This gives, hold on one sec. This, okay. this gave me mad. Um, the, it's for those of you who have been on Twitter recently, uh, Richard Dawkins is now going after Kafka's Metamorphosis as being a stupid book because it's bad sci-fi or it's unclear metaphor and how dare Kafka. And I'm just very confused with Dawkins at this point. Also honored to be lumped in with a tr as a trans person with Kafka as things that Dawkins doesn't understand. Um, <laughs> but it's I, I don't know. I think I think there's a larger conversation to be had about where metaphor and figurative language fits into things. Because as skeptics, we're not saying we must only talk in computer code right like there are true it's there there is art there is beauty there is literature and they all serve very important purposes but maybe when we're trying to determine things like what is truth we need a different foundation than a bible verse uh, well and, and it, it's not just that it's it's you know these are category errors. They can be beautiful when viewed, but that doesn't mean that they have anything to do with reality outside of their beauty. Um, love is infinite is a great example. Um, love is not a thing that you, it, 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 it just, it's not, doesn't work that way. What is um, grief but love persevering? Thank you, V. Thank you for that. That was, that was a deepity, but that deepity makes me want to cry every time. 